Quitty Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Maga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Chojin X Chapter 5 and woo, it looks like we got a Slytherin Chojin on our hands and uh, I really hope that Ishida Sui gives us the Medusa fantasy. I really fucking hope so. I will be living my best life if that happens but the other thing that we could be getting here is um Something that we saw in Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest manga recently, and that was when they um, were in Black Moon Mountain, and uh, um, Celine transformed Lucy into a serpent woman as well. And that was this was around the time we got the reunion with Aquarius. So, oh my God, I really hope that we're, we're going to get either Medusa. Um, the snake woman kind of thing that we got in Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest, or shit, if we get both, I will be really happy. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. He is a beat Chojin. I do not know his name. He's around 16 to 18, Nari. I think you would be quite suited to this. Well, I don't care as long as I get the fee. You want me to nab him? That depends on his abilities. Oh, it's the mask salesman. Yeah, I'm still calling him that from, uh, you know, from Majora's Mask. Because, God damn it, he makes me think of him. <laughs> oh, God. So here we are again. Back, 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 back again. Beak. Huh? A snake? Ah! do that would be my reaction, too. I hate snakes. I may be a Slytherin girl, but, motherfucker, I hate snakes. I do. It's weird, but, God damn, it's true. Snake, 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 snake. Come on, 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 snake head. It won't open. She can't be. She can't be a Trojan too. Oh, yes, she is. What? Don't run. I've been looking for you, Trojan. Oh, my God. We are getting some animorph realness going on. And I am living for this. Oh, my God. I feel so old saying animorph realness right now. I'm talking about the books and the show. Oh god, I feel so old. I feel so old. I feel so old. Oh, and we are getting a little bit of a Medusa realness going on. Okay, this is good. She she knows and she was looking for me. Um uh you were over near Oba at third district giving your powers a swing, yeah? What? When a Chojin uses their powers, they release a distinct signal, you see, one that other nearby Chojin can pick up. So I released my own signal to test whether you were a Chojin. Oh, Lise, um, whoa, whoa, release? You sensed it, right? Wh what do you want from me? A test. I want to see your Chojin power. You try to evade me, um, you try to evade me. If I capture you, that's a strike. Three strikes and this test is over. I feel like I'm getting a Medusa fantasy right now with this. Man. I swear if you give Nari the power to turn Mofos to stone, I will be so fucking happy. I will. Please do this. Why'd she want to do that? So... If it's a test, does that mean I get pass or fail? It does. Oh, God. You know what else she's given me? And I should have said this at the beginning. Is a Richimaru realness. We've been getting a lot of Naruto shit up in, um, up in manga lately. We've been getting it up in King and Omega um, with, uh, um, with uh, uh, Tarashi and Falcon. Uh, Tarashi having the... Um, Shuriken eyes, literally having Shuriken eyes. I'm dead fucking serious. And Falcon being a straight up Naruto LARPer. And now the Orichimaru realness. Yes! We got Orichimaru realness! Oh my god. Um, if I fail, does something happen? Mm, I'll kill you. Uh, come on, let's get to it. I'll give you ten seconds. One, two, three. Huh? Did, did she say kill? Oh, yes, she did. Four, five, 
Dude, she must be one of Orochimaru's de descendants or some shit. Six, seven, she couldn't have. Eight, nine, oh no, she did. Ten, woo! That X is for ten. I see what you are doing, is she a sweet? Going to run like a normal, normal person? Uh-oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes! We're getting the snake woman shit that I saw in Fairytale 100 Years Quest. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, my God. But I think the main difference is Lucy has bigger boobs. <laughs> and that's the difference is titties. Oh my god, if you can run 100 meters in 15 seconds, that's 24 kilometers an hour. How fast do you think I can go? Oh my god, the animals are making bets. Hmm, um, a human? They seem to be racing. Rad, I was getting bored. Um, 50 grams of feed on the male, 20 grams on the female, um, 100 grams on the female as well. 30, 30, 30! Wrong, uh, the black mama can move at 15 kilometers an hour, but... In this mode, I can go three times as fast, 45 kilometers per hour. Okay, here's the difference between what, what Nari is um, giving us here and what Lucy had up in 100 Years Quest. Lucy did not have a bando on. No, she didn't. Lucy was, was, uh, was on natural. <laughs> she was full. She was full on nude. Uh, my, you know, minus the snake portion at the, at the bottom, uh, you know, snake portion at the bottom, the snake. <laughs> oh my god, like, I'm dead ass serious. This is, I think maybe because Nar the difference, again, uh, well, the other difference between um, Nari and Lucy is Lucy's hair, there's more, Lucy has more hair, too, so she's able to cover her titties, whereas Nari cannot. And also, again, Lucy's titties are bigger, <laughs> Oh, God. This is funny as hell. I am sorry. Well, actually, I'm not. I am not sorry for this at all. Damn it. Uh, three times as fast. Um, uh, 45 kilometers per hour. Strike one. God, the scales look good. Woo! You won't make it with those legs. Come on. Up you get. Round two. One, two. I, I'm a slow runner. Um... Tokyo! Uh, woo! Woo! Um, KG Elementary Sports Day. Tokyo, what do you think you're doing, Tokyo? Uh, we dropped to last. How many people are you going to let pass you up? Hurry up and pass it to the anchor. Our class is in last place. Asuna, sorry. Woo! We're in first, oh, we're first place. Amazing. Asuna, so fast. We did it. We did it. We did it. Tokyo. Asuma, uh oh, the snake's got him. Um, um, strike two. Are you underestimating me? It kind of feels like your mind is on something else. I hate being underestimated. Can you take this seriously? Oh, them snakes are taking this seriously, that's for sure. Dude, did we just have an alien moment with the snake having a snake inside its mouth? Is it do? This is fucking creepy. I, I think we had a a Ridley Scott moment. What? That's another thing. What is with manga giving us the Ridley Scott? There's oh god. There's a lot of Ridley Scott going on in manga lately. I, I don't understand that, but um, hold on a second. Oh, oh, poor Tokyo. He, he's getting bit. He's getting bit and bit and bit. And I love the color palette to show that there's like some venom going up in there. 30 minutes and your limbs will be paralyzed. In an hour and you're a goner. Well, how... Oh my god, fuck, I screwed this up. That, that's a blend of neurotoxins. Oh, 30, minute, uh, 30 minutes and your limbs will be paralyzed. An hour and you're a goner. Well, how about the final round? One, two... If she catches me, she'll kill me. And if she doesn't, the toxins will. Wait, isn't this a no-win situation? This is... <laughs> I can't anymore. So
someone! Someone, please help! Seriously? You lack st strained ingenuity, even mutability. Um, most of all, you lack a sense of responsibility for your own life. You're ordinary. You failed. Bye-bye! Hmm? What? That's smoke and... Ugh. A person? Yes! A meeting of the Chojin! Smoke and be- Dude, if we have, like, a smoke- If this team is gonna be called Smoke and Beaky or Beacon Smokey or something, uh, that is gonna be fucking weird. Oh my god. This will be very interesting to see what happens, but- this really is just, this is, it's really interesting with Tokyo here. Because Tokyo is like the anti-Jagasaki. He's like the complete opposite of Jagasaki. Where as Jagasaki, when he became um, a uh, fractured human, a half, uh, half fractured human, he knew what he wa wanted to do. He knew how he was going to use his desire. He had his selfish desire of wanting to help people. That was his selfish desire. And he knew how he was going to activate it and everything. And he was able to use his imagination and evolve his power as he went. And here, it's like the complete opposite. And I like that we're getting the complete opposite here. Where Tokyo is selfless. He doesn't have, like, a desire. He has like a selfless desire. He is not thinking about what I mean is it's like he is not putting himself first. He's thinking of how to be like, is thinking about um, how he would be like someone else, like a vulture, how he would be like someone else. What he needs to do, what I'm, he needs to be, have like the mindset of, um, of Rayo up in, um, in Blue Lock where he is a community, and I'm hoping this is going to be the case eventually, where he has like a chameleon ability, where he copies other people's abilities and is able to not like, you know, perfect it, but he's able to use them. I feel like that's what's going to be happening here I f at some point. But... With Tokyo here, he needs to he needs to have what Jagasaki does, what Jagasaki has. And he, the other thing I will say here, in um, oh God, I missed some stuff. Huh? Stupid thing. Or no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I thought I missed something for a second with the smoke end. Okay, um, the thing is. And I under I understand why Jagasaki is the way he is compared to Tokyo, and I just thought about this. Is that Jagasaki is older than Tokyo. Like Tokyo is still in high school. Jagasaki is a full um, grown adult. And um, you know, he already you know, he has is out of high school, he has a job and everything. Whereas Tokyo, he's still in high school, he has no idea what he wants to do with his life. So he's, so, and he doesn't know who he is as a person. Yeah, ja, yeah, you can make the argument that Jagasaki, to an extent, don't know who he is as a, uh, as a person, but he isn't as completely lost as Tokyo is right now. I feel like that's the best way to explain it. I'm very curious what you guys think um, about the, uh, about, about what's happening here. I'm really... I'm really curious. God, I really feel like that. What's ha what happened? What's happening in this chapter is very similar to what happened in One Engineer's Quest. I I can't help but think of One Engineer's Quest because literally about the same thing happened here, where you had Natsu fighting up against Lucy, and, and Lucy is like a water make, and it things were working out for him, and uh, it, it was not looking good until Aquarius showed up. 
And now we have the same thing kind of happening here with Tokyo. And um, now we have a smoke Chojin showing up. So yeah, this is giving me like Jogon meets uh, 100 Years Quest. And to an extent meets One Piece because of what's happening in, um, in the Wano arc. It, it, there's that too. There's that factor as well. But I'm very curious what you guys think. And what do you and what do you think, especially in regards to? And the other thing is here, I have to point this out as well. And from what I'm hearing is Jogon is ending soon. Jogon is uh, and I, Jogon is like in the final in its final arc. And if that is the case, then um, Chojin X has the potential to take over for Jogon um, in terms of being like a dark hero kind of series, which I would really love to see this manga do. I think this manga can do it. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Inc. You love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Trojan X content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on um, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!